song. A song that comes from straight from heaven in order to give you what you need in order to electrify you and to remind you of the goodness and the faithfulness of God. Praise God on this morning. It's good to be here. I'm glad to be in the house one more time to praise him, to lift him up, to give him glory. He's worthy of praise, worthy of honor. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. He's the one that woke us up. He's the one that gives us strength. He's the one that touched us on this morning. He's the one that gives us the ability to be able to move and to perform. He's the one that's given us the ability to praise and to worship him. He's worthy of your praise. He's worthy of your glory. Even when you don't feel like praising him, he'll find somebody else to praise him. He deserves it all. He's blessed you with good things. Even though you may not see the manifestation of it all, he's still a good God. You may not understand him, he's still a good God. You may not have everything you want, he is still a good God. He's still in control. He's working out all things and coming up to your pathway. You just got to ask God to open up your eyes, to put you in the right position, to put you in the right place, to move some hindrances out of your way. Maybe he needs to move some people out of your way. Maybe he needs to move some obstacles out of your way. Are you bold enough to say, God, move on my behalf? God, open up my eyes. Move the clutter out of my life. I surrender all. Do you have that mindset to say, Father, I empty myself right now. Empty my cup so that you can fill me up all over again. Why? Because his word says that if you lift up the cup before him, he'll cause things to run over within your life. Sometimes you need to speak to yourself. Maybe nobody didn't call you on yesterday or even on last week. Maybe your husband didn't talk to you this morning. Maybe you don't have a husband or a wife. Well, talk to yourself. Open up the word for your disgust and declare, discover who you are all by yourself. Say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that I know for myself. I can encourage myself on today. I can possess those things. Whatever I speak shall come to pass. Boy, you're doing a good thing. Boy, you know you got it going on right now. Uh -huh. If I was there, if I was you, I would praise them all by myself. Can't nobody touch me. Can't nobody match me. Why? Because I'm covered by the blood. I'm covered with power. I'm covered with love. I'm covered with joy. God's going to take good care of me. He said no good.
the morning by myself with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I live a busy life, but one thing that I've learned is how to magnify God in the midst of every situation. I've had some good times. I had a whole lot of bad times. But I'm standing here as a living witness. I'm a testimony. And I'm looking at you that you are a testimony also. So why don't you open it up your mouth and say, but God did it. God brought me out. He made a way out of nowhere. Yes, I've lost some things upon the way. But God say that he will stand in and fight my battle. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. I'm in a different time zone. I told you that back in December 2012. That I was stepping into a different time zone. And I want some people to come right along with me. So there's some things happening in the atmosphere. Because we're about to make some things happen. Now, there, you are, now there, there's a different form of groups. You can be in the sad group. You can be in the mad group. You can be in the praise group. You can be in the worship group. You can be in the ridicule group. You can be in the no group. But I'm going to be in the right group. situation is, the word will always find it to bring you out. Now, Bishop just spoke vision unto us. Therefore, it has now become law. It has got to happen. So all you got to do is say, self, you better recognize. So this time, I don't want you to run for yourself, but run for the man of God. Run for your bishop. He's doing a bishop thing right now. So let, 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 let's put it on record right now when he come back and say, what happened after I left? Bishop, we made up in our mind that we can't, we, we didn't want to run for ourselves this time. We've been doing that for a very long time. Some of us had to go start back all over again. Some of us had to get some brand new shoes because we don't ran out those shoes for so long running for the same thing. But this time, we're going to run according to what God has placed into the heart of the man of God. He said that he wants somebody to give us land. Now you have to understand, I live with a, with a man that talks vision every day. He talks like that every day. I think just about everybody, including New York, can, can quote his vision. About the 30 million after tax and tithes, about the oil on the land, about setting things up in a trust fund, and now he's expanded it. 